Snowy, what are you doing? The new cars are out. What are you doing? <laughs> as you guys know, I, like I said, I've always used Snowy. So as soon as I would normally see him pop up, and I'd be like, okay, cool. The new cards are out. Uh, but he, I think he was like me. It said, uh, I was on this site, and it was like, oh, the countdown. No, I was on uh, Runeterra AR. Let me actually go back there. Uh, and they were saying, oh, you know, it's about the job. And then the minute countdown went away, and then, like, literally nothing happened. So now it's actually, I saw it here. So I saw it was on here. Plus this little map thing that I have no ambition to know. Um, but let's look at the new cards. How many you got? Yeah, they revealed this thing. Uh, I thought this was like a skin for Nidalee. Not going to lie. So let's go here and then to the left. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. All the Runeterra coverage that's been going on. We've got everything under the sun, man. It's kind of nuts, right? We've gotten some League of Legends stuff, some Runeterra stuff. we got so much stuff going on. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the more full coverage of the whole franchise, the lore, anything that pops up. If there's a video you guys want me to react to, please tell me. I'll react to that video if it has to do with anything Runeterra based, right? So let's go with, boom, the Scrutinizing Sergeant. We're getting more of the variety cards right now. So I think this is variety because it looks like a bunch of different regions. And then tomorrow will be a focus thing. And then the day after that would be an actual champion, right? So this one, it says, pick a unit from the top five cards of your deck that costs three or less summon it and place the rest into your deck five cost elite demacia 3 3 so the stats is crap obviously but then again you have the you you stand uh the altar of un unity or whatever like that so technically this could be a five five you know five cost five five but let's say you don't have that you know because you can't always have the the dream right um also this might be the first black man in demacia <laughs> just i am just I haven't seen many. I've seen it in the Mage Seeker. I saw that, that one or two black people. I was like, oh, snap. Um, but yes. And look, there's even a recruit. There's even a recruit. Then again, Lucian is uh, from Demacia as well, right? So there's that. So pick a unit from the top five cards. So three or less, it has a little limit. It's not any card that comes out. Uh, any summon effects is going to be good. Uh, obviously, you're going to want this in a more pure Demacia deck. But at the end of the day, I think just for in general, it's a five cost, three, three. That's going to bring out another body. Um, that, to me, is awesome. I think the card in general is amazing for Demacia, especially because it is an elite. So if you, okay, you might not have the altar out, but you might have the other card out that's going to make it a plus one. That's going to give it plus one, plus one. Five cost, four, four. That sums another unit that might also be elite. Like the, the, the blocking badger bear, which I think is a three cost card that can come out. So yeah, you could you definitely do some dirt with this one. But luckily it's a play effect. So you have to put it, it has to be coming from the hand in order to use this. It's not a summon effect and then do that. So like this card, stupidly strong. Then we have Mage Seeking Junior. It's it's um freaking Silas, it's uh, Silas's uh, brother before he left. So we got a uh, Demacia cards, Macy Junior. Spells that cost less than three cost three. <laughs> this card's vicious, <laughs> yo! Imagine that. Imagine, imagine Victor, right? You play this on three or hell. Let's just let's complete completely jerkish, right? You play this as soon as they play Victor, right? And then they can't play the, they can't play the thing unless they have three spell mana. This obviously hurts. Uh, this destroys Seraphine, right? Because anything it just costs three. That's just one card, a common card. I think this is a direct response to Seraphine, though. Now, can you keep this guy alive? Absolutely. Demacia has uh, all the Petrocyte that you need, know, and love. And you could just put cards on it. They try to remove it. You can uh, give it spell shit. Like, this card's nuts, dude. But, of course, it also messes up your card. So your cl close combat is three costs, right? But if a card costs three, then it doesn't matter. You don't really care. Um, it doesn't boost up. It's, it's like, not as debilitating as the the actual petrocyte one that just increases spell cost by one but it, it's cool that it kind of has so if you're running big spells which is it's good this is like great for lux obviously jace right and like they don't care because that cost their spells cost six but you were trying to go with the skippy stuff and it actually even interacts and kind of counters the ambush meta right so we already have a card a common card at that i know a lot of people that play rune terror already have all the cards right but this card in 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 expansion counters something else like this is both of these and it's crazy the card i just read could summon this for free so it could be the five cost that summons the mage seeker junior 
and you get to pick it so you can say oh i'm in a spell based matchup i'm gonna play this and now all their mana screwed up coin coin costs three to play just just like woo! there might be some demacia decks just to just to counter the salt this this guy is definitely on the thumb let me just save this right now because sometimes the we're gonna save that right up bro that's the thumbnail right there. That card's busted. Unless some of the other card might be better, but this card to me is just the most bustedest thing because it, it stop. It messes with ambush. It messes with coin. It messes with uh, generated a lot of generated cards. Pranks. Um, any card that was created for cheap. Any reduced discount card. Bar. It just does so much. Like it makes you just want to play Demacia like a lot. Like crazy, crazy. And it could just be swarmed onto the deck. Demacia loves Swarm. It could just be one of the many threats that you have to take out. It's like, do you kill this card because it's pissing you off? Or do you take out that 6-5 fearsome, or not even fearsome, just a big 6-5 body that you could kill, but you want to probably vengeance it. Like, it's insane what that does. Holy crap. Next thing is some more Demacia, and it's a bird. The bird, bird, bird. The bird is the bird. And it's a 6-cost bird. Crested Lionheart. Tough. Play if I if an ally has a different subtype than me manifest a Demacian spell. That is if an ally has, that's so easy to do. Um, but I'm assuming there needs to be at least a subtype on the thing. And since subtypes elite is one of them, boom, you're it's already Demacia. So this is obviously gonna happen. The altar will bring it to a six cost six six tough and manifest a Demacian spell. Does that specify whether it's a small spell or big spell? It's just a Demacian spell. Technically, this six costs could get you champion strength, right? So, woo! That's some power, baby. That's some power. So, these three Demacian cards are phenomenal. Um, I, oh, woo! Then we have three Noxus cards, it seems. So, we have Captain Carlix. He looks like Jin's uh, buff brother. Nexus Strike. Deal damage to the enemy Nexus equal to half its health rounded up. Deal damage to the enemy Nexus equal to half its health. So it's basically like Commander Ladros, right? So this guy is overwhelmed, right? Hey, look, even the um, the altar would make him a little bit better because the whole gimmick here is that he has one attack. So even with overwhelm, you'd have to buff him in order to do that. But the whole thing about it is that he does have overwhelm. So with some type of boosting, this guy will hit the Nexus and then you would lose half of it. And then especially if you were to put this guy on the furthest of leftists, um, then he will he would n lower the nexus even further and give you even crazier lethal. So amazing card. Uh, just obviously the the one attack is forcing you to either manipulate maybe and look uh, with all the bushwick Sh Remy Sharima Sharima Noxus and you have what I'm trying to say you have a bunch of the vulnerables right. Uh, so maybe you pull this over to the side, pull all the other blockers to the side, hit this. Or maybe you boost this up a little bit because both of those regions have boosting. Let him hit that, have him pull something, and then your other units finish off the game. Because even at 20, right, uh, this thing would hit, let's say, for one, right? Hit the go 19, half that, and then I'm assuming it happens after the damage. So half that, and then maybe the rest of it's lethal on the on the right side. And I think obviously it gets it still deals damage. I'm thinking like even if it's four HP, six HP, right? Then there's three, and then the other three, and there's a uh, you know an Oxus Guillotine. I'm and I when I do these reviews, I'm just thinking about every card. I'm not thinking like purely standard because I can't keep track of what's in standard and what's not in standard. But yeah, awesome card. What else we got cooking? We got the Raven Bloom, Raven Born Tomb. I just wanted it to rhyme with tomb, so I said Bloom. All right, so here it is. So when my bearer plays a skill. Copy it. Jin! Jin, baby. What's good? <laughs> so, obviously, this card is uh, being won. It's amazing for even Annie, right? It's for the Raven Blue Conservatory. That's what it's mainly for, right? To, do, to multiply the skills. I, I always think Jin. So, that's actually super intricate and interesting. There are so many Noxian uh, skill based uh, things. So,. That's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I love to see it. Do you need to run too much? And it also works, you know, it can be tumbled into. It's a two cost uh, equipment. Um, you could forge it. I don't know why, but you could do it. But there are, and hey, you actually can put it into a failure deck too, because failure has the forging, and maybe you make this nice and big, and then you play some type of skill. But in the, the bearer plays a skill, it will copy it. So 
still interesting of a card. I don't know how useful it is, but it is interesting. It's a very interesting card. And then last but not least, the card we left over to the left, it is a Noxus Cat, a Bonehide Tri-Tail Overwhelm. When I'm summoned, grant me plus one, plus one for each different subtype other allies have. So this is going into that other card that was revealed uh, in the first thing about having different subtypes. So it makes me believe that there's definitely going to be either a, like Nico, obviously, like Nico, but like, where's the other card? But there it is. So this is a reptile. All allies that have different subtypes than other allies in play cost one less. That is weird because that is P and Z. This is Noxus. And I wonder, are we getting another Rune Terra champion? And then maybe it's you can put in. No, you can't say you can put in other subtypes. And you also can't be like you can only put in animal, animal, animal based subtypes like cat bird reptile they could maybe try to word it like that um and then you have to go for example then you have to go into pnz so you go nico pnz and so you could play this card or something like that i don't know seems a little iffy but and also the cats most of the cats are i think in Chirima, but then you have a couple cats in other regions and now you have a cat now in noxus uh the whole aspect of this whole archetype i guess is okay this one's pretty cool because I'm um, summoned. Grant me plus one plus one. If you were to play the the cat the cat pack attack thing, the it's already got summoned once. Got those stats. The the duplicated version would even get even more stats, right? So it would be pretty uh, pretty strong of a card. So and obviously Noxus Shirima again is pretty good. Uh, pretty pretty damn good. So that's all the cards that they have revealed so far. Uh, this is, like I said, just a variety one, and I think tomorrow will be a more direct version, so we'll know in what direction are we getting another Bush Champion. I've heard so many different guesses of what it could be, so I'm I'm hoping <clears throat> I'm hoping we start seeing stuff because in this thing, right? They say no, no, not this thing. Sorry, they call this thing the Apex Predator. Who's an adorable Apex Predator? For some reason. I just immediately thought thinking Rengar, but it, obviously they're talking about this card. I think it's, you know, and okay, it's not called Apex Predator, but that is, I think when Rengar was released, that's what they did call him. They're showing you a bunch of cats. Nidalee herself is also a cat. Um, so this whole cat meta, hold on, let me just look up Pack Attack. Does it only do um, followers? No, so it actually can, it can actually do Nidalee. It can do Nidalee, so that is, definitely looking pretty strong nidalee's already in the archetype the more cats can uh let's see how, how good are you how uh good is no i was thinking maybe you could type in subtitle subtype cat i know you could do it in runeterra itself i don't know open up runeterra right now but interesting interesting so what is you guys favorite card out of all these reveals i'm definitely going with the mage seeker jr because I think that, that this card is actually like meta breaking. And Demacia is a relatively strong region that can play within itself. And also these three cards just seem to be phenomenal. The Noxus stuff seems cute. I think the, the subtype thing, we'll have to see the bigger payoff of that. Is there a reason to do it? Is there an easier way to do it? Would be the biggest question here. Raven Bloom Tomb is just interesting. I don't think it's that meta, but it is interesting. Um, and Captain whatever. So, Demacia rules. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy Like, comment, subscribe for more Riot-based news, Runeterra stuff. Like I said, tomorrow I'm assuming we're getting a direct reveal on parts of a champion's kit <laughs> and things like that. Probably uh, another thing. Rengar. I think I actually think they might go Fiddle. But I, the thing is that the thing is called the Heart of the Huntress. And, oh, well. Well, look at that. Nidalee in the back. Can we get any information on Nidalee in the back? There goes Nico. And I just feel like the heart of the Huntress is not Nidalee. Though, okay, maybe it is, because that's she's like right in the front there. It just makes me think of... It really just makes me think of... What's it called instead? It makes me think of the new character, Nefiri, who's being blasted all over League of Legends right now. So I just think it's her. <laughs> I just think it's her. So... Like, like, it's kind of crazy, all the stuff that's been going on with her. Okay, I thought that they would be blasting it on 
Wait, did I just follow Wild Riff? Oh, unfollow. I don't give a damn about that game. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.